Hi there again, everybody. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith for your commentary today on this match, which is going to have an extra factor to it. The heavy rain that's been falling. Yeah, the ball is going to skid across the surface. It seems to like these kind of conditions because you get one or two mistakes. If you're on your toes, that's one or two goals about for strikers. Game today, Tottenham and they play Burnley. Spurs have been absolutely fantastic at home, best home record in the league, Alan. They've been terrific to watch, Martin, during this run. Seven wins in eight games, you can't argue with that. Number 17, Musa Sissoko. Number 7, Hong Min Song. And number 14, George's Kevin. This is today's Tottenham Hotspur team. Michel Vaughan plays in goal. Ben Davis starts, man of the match last time out. Ross Barkley plays with Victor Wanyama in central midfield and at the point of attack, just one lone striker. This is the Burnley lineup. Tom Heaton starts in goal. Robbie Brady plays with George Boyd out wide and a partnership with these two strikers up front. Tottenham wanting a win because in the last game they dropped points by only drawing at home the match against Hull City. Yeah, I mean, nil-nil, a clean sheet is the positive slant on it and I think they might just grab one or two here to get the win. The man in charge is Mark Kattenberg. Underway. Boy, there's good progress with this attack. Gray. Trying to thread it through here. Oh, and that's a penalty. The decision is made by the referee, it is a penalty, and the card is yellow. I just wondered about the colour there, I thought I saw red coming out for a second, but no. I think the booking is fair enough. And he scores from the spot. Stylishly slotted in. Yeah, it is, and uh, he doesn't normally let you down from 12 yards, certainly didn't there. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? So the first goal, it's 1-0. Oh, Ross Barkley. Now Onoma, trying to find a way through here, probing away. Well, they passed their way up into a good position here, and then just lost the concentration, lost the ball as well. And they're going to work hard to try and get it back. Key. Could be dangerous. Son! Very good stop here. Corner for Spurs.
to the goalkeeper. Good technique. And here's the shot. Good block. It's Gray. Attacking well here. Quick change of possession here. Ross Barkley. Now Onoma. Stephen Defoe. He's got support here. The shot's on! Gone for goal in spectacular style. Well, I was expecting him to be wheeling away in celebration there. George Kevin Unkudu. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. Shot on! Well, he lost his footing at the crucial moment. It seemed that way. It's a slippery old surface down there, and you've got to get your feet sorted out properly. A quick break. And oh, that's broken up by the defender before the cross could come in. That's a good spot by the defender. White Hart Lane, as we know it, isn't going to be here much longer because the new stadium is being built even as we speak. Well, it'll be sad to see it go. What it does have is. A marvellous atmosphere, it can be an intimidating one because the fans are close to the pitch, but I know they are conscious of building the new one with the same kind of feel. But uh, it has got an awful lot of history, this place. Surely, the equaliser, Son, got to be. Well, he's had a go. Well, you don't buy a ticket, as they say, and uh, fair play to him for having a crack. Barkley, little piece of interplay between the two. This is the kind of uh, pitch that I think attacking players favour, Alan, don't they? I think they do, yeah, because uh, it means mistakes from defenders and uh, you know a little bit of miscontrol, loss of footing, and uh, you're in. Good reading of the by anticipating the pass. Our chance. That was the opening that they've been working so hard to get to get back on level terms. And you're right, Martin, they have worked extremely hard. Just let down at the, at the death there. What a miss. It's a bit of a sorry showing so far from Spurs. Much uh, below par, and at the moment, the scoreline as we uh, come towards half time, and maybe the potential to sort it out with a chat with the coaching staff at half time. At the moment, they continue to lose. Three minutes that's what's going to be played for added time. Comes a challenge, and the cross is in. Good defending. Good position, they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. And that's half time, signaled by the referee 1 0 the half time score. Well, a poor half for the home side, and that home record's under threat, but there's plenty of time for them to turn it around. Well, manager got some work to do, I think they were just a bit careless out there in the first half.
Well, what will this mean for the team? They're going to bring two new players on. Start of the second half for you. Suzuka. Great interception. Unkuru. Down in South London is Alan McAnally with a goal at Sellers Park, Alan. It's a goal for Crystal Palace. 50 minutes, played. 1 1. Thanks, Alan. Well, this attack. Son! Explaining to him why he's given the penalty, no sign of a card here. Yeah, one or two of the opposition waving the imaginary cards, which you never like to see. master at that he fills the goal doesn't he will not be beaten he's filling that goal today well let's have a look at these stats and the team with more shots is actually losing the game well they've done well two-thirds of the pitch in terms of creating chances and shots off but they just haven't made life difficult enough for the goalkeeper just a little nudge to nudge you in the direction of what's coming up on EA Sports for you our coverage of the Premier League fixture Spurs They'll be facing Manchester United away from home. Yeah, really looking forward to this one. Cut off! And that shot's blocked very quickly. Well, they've got a corner out of that. A bit lucky, it was deflected. Number 13, Jeff To be replaced by number 8. It is a substitution now to keep the team on their toes and to keep this lead, they hope. Defender and out and out one. His instincts were fantastic there. And here comes the counter attack. And shoots! No, no, no! Well, the defenders could only watch and play because they've been left for dead. But he just couldn't finish it. Number 10, Ashley Barnes. to attack he has been pressed there to running the ball out of play just spotted the ball up and they're playing here's Winks Son 20 minutes now remaining in comes the challenge so let's have a look at the possession stats on the screen now. There they are. Yeah, very close. I think we could probably tell that without even looking at the figures. Not much to split these two sides. So what about Burnley's next game? They're playing Middlesbrough in their next match. And uh, I think they're going to coast home. Substitution for Tottenham Hotspur coming off the pitch. Well, there's still time to 
hit back in this game, and they're going to try and do it with a substitute. Well, they're in a good position here. What oh, could be dangerous? He is a saviour there. Westwood. And Tottenham get it back again. One, two, and having a little game of their own here. The break is definitely on. Son! He's reached it. And here's the shot. It's an equalising goal here. Coach's goal, Johnny on the spot to tap it home. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? the Number end of 14, the 90 minutes, nine Jordan minutes left. 1-1 one, one here, time ticking away. Can we look ahead to their next game, Alan? Yeah, Spurs go up against Manchester United. They've not been at the best here. They need to do a little bit better if they're going to get a result in that next match. Possibly booking this. It's going to be a yellow card. Well, that's the least surprising thing I've seen out there today so far. Look again, Alan, at this, the slide tackle that went wrong. Well, he's tried to go for the slide tackle, and uh, he's a faction off getting the ball. It is a foul. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Davis. He's got his shot off now. He wasn't phased by facing a player who's already got the better of him in this game. Well, he's got his defenders out of jail there because they allowed the striker to, to run free. Number seven, Paul Mensah. Tottenham have got a corner and from it that may be an opportunity to get the victory. Should be enough to get home and hosed. It's interesting the corner count to this point. The shot's on! He blocked it then. Not such a good cross, I'm afraid. moments left and Tottenham still trying to get this winning goal Unkudu game over 1-1 brilliant effort by the players to produce a match like this in these conditions yeah not the best pretty cold out there but they made sure they kept running about and that led to a great spectacle 